What is going on guys and welcome back to another eBay deals of the day. We have some phenomenal listings to go over so make sure that you guys like and subscribe. Let's get right into it. So yeah guys welcome back to the channel. Hey before we get going I'm dying to know did any of you guys end up picking up one of those evolutions booster boxes that I had showcased in my last video. Um, I think that there was like two left at around like $475 price point something like that. It's crazy how much that set has exploded. It's gotten to you know over $800 for that box. And I'm not gonna lie guys, sometimes it's hard sharing these listings with you guys because I knew I could have bought that and made a quick flip. Very easy, but I hope one of you guys got it because you know that's the whole point of this uh, segment that I'm doing is to help you guys reach your collection goals quicker. So let me know down below if any of you guys bought one. Now, getting into today's video. First of all, it's your first time here. Thank you so much for taking the time and clicking on this video. Basically what we do here guys is, you know, I'm in eBay every single day and I try to share with you guys the best listings that I come across that I think is at a good price point. Now I am going to be sharing my perspective and my opinion, but I'm also going to be sharing the numbers and the data to kind of back my opinion and why I think that it is a good deal. So we're going to get right into it and we're going to be starting off with a Neo Revelation Ente PSA 8 for $150, okay? Last little prices of this is going for about, let's see here, we had a listing at $220 and a best offer was accepted on December 15th. If we scroll down here just a little bit, we have one at December 6th, so for about $170 at auction. Now, $150, you may be thinking, well, that's that's not too much of a difference, but with these, these cards from Neo Revelation, it's one of the best sets of all time. It's from that Neo which some consider the height of Pokemon. Um, and you know, an unweighed pack is going for about three to $400. It's a one in three shot of pulling a hollow, let alone a, uh, a really big pull like Entei. And most likely it's going to come out in a condition of a PSA eight or nine. So for $150, it's a lot cheaper to just outright buy the card as compared to trying to go and find it. And I think that the um, the other listings on eBay are like $100 more. So that's kind of why it makes the cut. Now sticking with this Neo era guys, we have a dark scissor here from Neo 4, which is the Japanese equivalent of Neo Destiny. It's in a PSA 10, it's going for only $240. And if we look at the last old price, it's all the way back in November for $280 plus the shipping. So we're automatically in the black there for by about $40. But the real reason why this makes one of the best deals of the day is when you look at the price of the booster packs. Now the booster packs are going for about $400, some a little bit less and some a little bit more. And so for me, you're getting one of the best hollows from the set. And although we do have those shinings in Neo Destiny, which everybody wants to pull, you're getting a phenomenal artwork from a popular Pokemon and a popular artist uh, like Mitsuhiro Arita for about half the price of a booster pack. So for me, it's just a no brainer. Okay, moving on here guys, we're hopping into modern and we have um, a Charizard and breaks in PSA 10 from Cosmic Eclipse, listed at $500. With that best offer accepted, love seeing that little blue button, it never hurts to throw an offer guys. Um, but basically last sold of this card were, you know, for $525 on January 17th and just a day before it sold for about $125 more at $650. So you can kind of take that with what you will in regards to, you know, actual price. It's tough to determine when you're seeing different price points fluctuate, you know, um, this much within one day. Let's just put it in between in the middle and let's just say it's for about like $575 is the price of this card. So instantly guys, um, that's $75 less than what has been selling for. But the real reason why I think that this card has so much room to grow is the population report. I could not believe how low it was. So for this card, we're looking at only a pop of 379 PSA 10s. And when you compare it to other Charizards, other modern Charizards um, from set like Unbroken Bonds or Hidden Fates, the Unbroken Bonds Reshazard has a pop of 823 and the Hidden Fates Shiny Charizard GX has a pop of over 2000. So for me, um, I think that this card is very undervalued at the moment as compared to you know, the price points of those other cards. I think that the Unbroken Bonds is selling for about $470 for a much higher populated card, about 500 more. And then the last sold prices of the Hidden Fates Charizard is like over $1,200. 
So for me, this $500 mark, it, it doesn't make sense that it's gonna be here and I, I really do think that it is going to continue to grow, especially because Cosmic Eclipse has just been getting so much love lately and because the booster box has been steadily increasing. So let's go ahead and take a look at that booster box. So, um, one of the last little things of the night, guys, Cosmic Eclipse booster box, it's uh, the last one and it's going for $338.90. If we look at last sold, um, again, a little bit, um, you know, kind of close together, but, you know, kind of varying here, about $367.95. A best offer is accepted, about $320 plus that $30 shipping, and then about $350. So let's just go ahead and say the $350 mark. You know, it's not much in terms of saving, but again, with that Charizard being in the set, there's some other phenomenal, phenomenal artworks. They have all like those secret rares with the full art trainers. They'll look really, really nice. And a lot of those are going for $100 to $200 in PSA 10s. Um, I just think that this set has a lot going for it. And it's a set that I really want to open up. I'm very tempted to lash out $400 and just bust open a box because I never really got to open it when that set came out. Um, I was so focused on hidden fades and, and buying up hidden fades. And I had a lot of fun with that, but I would love to open up some of the sets because it has some really great artworks. And last but not least, guys, if you stood around for this long, we have the best listing of the night, or at least it's the listing that I think you guys are gonna like the best because again, when I asked that question, what do you guys think has a lot of room to grow? You guys said Heart Gold Soul Silver. So I'm bringing you guys a listing here. It is for a Heart Gold Soul Silver Triumphant Blister Pack. Now it's listed at $100, but why I put this in the listing or in the deals of the day is because the seller, I'm actually watching it, and the seller sent me an offer for $80. So $20 off this blister. When we look at last sold, guys, we're looking at about $125 to $150. Tack on some shipping, and we're looking at a little bit more here. So that's a nice little drop from $80 to let's just say $130. It's about a $50 um, um, savings from last sold. And I just think that, you know, this set, this whole entire era, just has it all. Just Pokemon just did a phenomenal job with Heart Gold Soul Silver. Not only are the artworks great, the pull rates are great, but the chase cards are very fun. You know, you have the hollows, you have the prime cards, and you have the legend cards. And what's really, really cool is that you can get two hits within one pack. So the prime cards come in the reverse rare slot and then you can pull something behind it. So if you don't pull the prime right in that reverse rare slot, you still have another chance at pulling a hollow or a legend card behind that. And when you look at just enjoyability and chase and, and, and everything along those lines, the Heart Gold Soul Silver era really does have it all. Alrighty guys, that's all that I have for you today. If you did enjoy the video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. You know, not that I need to be telling you guys because you guys are just killing it. I really appreciate all the nonstop support from each and every one of you. You know, for a small channel, you guys are dropping like 30 to 50 comments on every video. So the level of engagement is just through the roof and I really appreciate that because that's what I wanted when I started this channel. I wanted to connect with new people, kind of build a community, have fun, you know, hopefully uh, share some knowledge, you know, my own personal experience to help you guys reach your collection goals quicker. But at the very least, at least, you know, I can kind of meet some new uh, friends and kind of network and just build out my um, Pokemon relationships with other people. So thank you guys so much for supporting me in this channel. And as always, guys, remember that Pokemon is the best hobby in the world. Go out there and enjoy it. And I'll be seeing you guys sometime soon.